Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Interstage Window, my Saturday stream. It's usually a conversation with a friend, but today um, Landon was actually uh, busy with some real life stuff, so she is not here streaming with us, and we just had a community day last week, so um, I thought that would it would be a better idea this week to instead jump back into Sims 2, and I'll talk a little bit about um, what the Sims 2 legacy streams are going to be like going forward, um, when and if we do them, that sort of thing. Uh, welcome in, Kendra. You got the first this time. Uh, welcome in, Pickle. So happy to see you. It's been a minute since I've seen you in the stream. Welcome. And welcome also, Lunar. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. And also, let me just test really quick. Before we switch over to the game, let me just test really quick. Did I fix the sound alerts? Let's find out. I fixed him. I don't know what I did different this time. I did all the same stuff as I did before last stream trying to fix him. It worked this time. Okay, fabulous. Sound alerts are back, y'all. So now you can play all your, um, you know, sad violins and uh, applauses and things like that. So that's all fixed. All right, guys, let's hop into the game. So where we left off our legacy last time was... Oh, thank you so much for the howl, Lunar. Thank you so much. All right, so where we left off last time is that um, Malcolm, Malcolm uh, by the community was voted, was voted to die. So um, here, here he is, he succumbed to hunger, poor Malcolm. <laughs> and, uh, and that is where we, we left off our, our lovely SU family. Oh, who's over here? Oh, Landon is crying about her, her dead hubby. Okay, we'll see if she wants to get remarried. We'll find out. Landon's a single mob now. So uh, so we'll see what happens to her. As you guys know, I play mostly wants based, so it's really about whatever whatever my Sims want to do. Okay, here's the two siblings. We've got um, we've got uh, Tormund, and we've got Lily. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna read. They've got pretty low fun. Lily's got pretty low fun, probably because her dad just died. I suspect that's what's going on there. Okay, Landon is moved. Um, so let's get rid of these walls. Okay. So we've got Malcolm's grave right there. The howling got Kiki to start talking. Hi, Kiki. How's it going? <laughs> oh, gosh. That's too funny. That's too funny. Oh, okay. So we'll let them do that. I think that will increase her fun. Doesn't, yeah, it seems to be increasing your fun a little bit. All right, Landon, what do you what do you want to do? Norman is an overachiever. Go fishing. Tickle Lily or get a promotion. So what does she need to do to get a promotion? She needs to make another friend to get a playground monitor promotion. I know it's it's very sad. It's very sad he died. All right, so why don't you put away leftovers? And do you have any friends that we can call? We're gonna see if we can give somebody a call and get her relationships up. How's the, it looks like the sound's probably too loud in the game. Let me turn that down a little bit. There we go. I think that's gonna be better. Okay, let's see. We've got Gilbert, Phil, Stefan, and Wanda. I guess let's call, I guess let's call Phil. She's got highest relationship with him. Oh no, he's not home. Okay, let's try somebody else. Landon needs a friend to get a promotion. Cause that's how you get promotions in real life is by making friends. Uh, you can invite him over, that's fine. I was playing some FNAF Ultimate Custom night earlier, and now it's stream time, wedding prep time, I'm too excited. Oh yeah, yeah, um, you're doing that wedding uh, in your RP today. Luna, I'm so excited for you, and that aesthetic document you put together is amazing. Um, I think it looks really, really good. Oh, Tormund's got homework there. Let's see, does he want to do his homework? He wants to get an A-plus report card. Yeah, well then I guess that means he wants to do his homework. Well, Landon, how's the least fun? That's not increasing our fun very much. Um, all right, well, Tormund, why don't you go do your homework? And Lily, what do you want to do? Learn physics, go fishing, get an A-plus report card, learn couples counseling. Well, Lily, you are a child. Why do you want to learn couples counseling? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, your fun's pretty low, so why don't you go, why don't you go hunt bugs? Let's see about that. Oh, Landon, you're already done with that? Um, where's your friend? It's, I thought your friend was coming over. 
Thank you. This is my first RP wedding. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about the RPs that, that I tend to do with my friends, but weddings always end up absolutely crazy. <laughs> um, we get up to all kinds of crazy shenanigans. Like, like there's, there's fights, like, uh, wars break out, you know, um, I feel like we've had deaths at weddings. Maybe I might be making that up. I don't know, but it's always a crazy time. Okay. Well, Tormund, why don't you, you're hungry. Why don't you, um, let's see. Why don't you get the leftovers? Oh, Lily's doing a good job catching some bugs. Is that? Well, Landa, maybe you can make friends with this person. Is this who she invited over? I thought she invited over a dude. This is Christy. Well, anyways, that's fine. I want to hear some of your wedding stories. Well, we had like in our very first, uh, one of our very early role plays, not the very first one, one of our very early role plays that we did. Um, we did uh, a Jilly wedding. So James and Lily was a Harry Potter and Marauders era role play. And um, we did a Jilly wedding. And of course, all the Death Eaters showed up too. And um, so <laughs> I want to say it ended up in a battle, but I really can't remember. It's so long ago. Um, and then, oh, I wish Naomi was here to tell this story, but we had a, a wedding in with her character and Landon's character in, uh, M M Magic Reborn in that roleplay. And, um, the, the groom ended up getting punched in the face, if I remember right. Naomi's character got punched in the face at his wedding. I think that's how it happened anyway. <laughs> My memories are very vague, um, about the specifics, but, uh, but I know it always gets crazy. I feel like it always gets, like, ridiculous. Yeah, we live for the CW soap. I mean, that's pretty much all of our role plays. They're CW soap operas. So. <laughs> Alright, why don't you entertain? Why don't you tell your new your new friend a joke? We need to we need to make these friends. Oh my god. Torment is taking it really hard about uh about Malcolm passing away. Torment, it's gonna be okay. This was all part of the plan. This is this is your rise to power that you're going to experience now. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Having played an insane character for many years, weddings were um, interesting. Yes. <laughs> I mean, all of the characters we play in our role plays are a little insane, so... It kind of just gets to be like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Talk to your friend. Now that Tom is a teenager, it's time to start thinking about college. Make sure Tom studies hard because those will count towards college. I only send my Sims to college if they want to go to college, so he has to roll that want. Um, which he did, but I'm not I'm not locking it right now. I'm just doing the A plus report card one. I might change it over to, to college. Jane! Welcome Jane! <laughs> first in spirit, right? First in spirit, since you were cleaning today. Alright, well, since several of several of you guys are here, I guess um, I'll go ahead and explain kind of what's going on with the future with the, the Sims 2 legacy streams and, and interstage window and some things like that. I've kind of hinted at this and I have talked about it, like, but I don't think I've really spent the time to in-depth explain what's going on. So Landon and I got some feedback that, that we agreed with, which was that um, now that Landon is on camera, people are more interested in focusing on us and what we're actually saying and, and what we're actually explaining, you know, in the conversation that we're having. Um, and they found the game fun, but overall distracting. So we're taking that feedback to heart and our streams going forward, unless it's like a community day, where like the game is the stream, right? We're not going to be having a game. So if there's a topic, it's just going to be us on camera. Um, if we have a guest, then it's optional. If the guest wants to be on camera or not, it's totally up to them. Happy to have them on camera if they want to be, but it's not required. Um, and it's just it's just going to be us talking, just like we've been doing for the the media deep dive streams. So, so that's the big change is that we're not going to be playing a game as like a main feature of the stream any longer it just it it worked fine whenever it was just me on camera but now that Landon's on camera too it's just not the format it's not right it looks kind of awkward um it's not what our viewers seem to be looking for and uh and uh we agree with that feedback so we decided to implement it and so that's how that's going to be now of course we still have the sims 2 legacy and um since it is Landon it is 
part of enter stage window in my mind. So when we have situations that pop up like this, where it's um, Landon's busy, but it, but a community day doesn't make sense for one reason or another, then we will the, we'll we'll play The Sims 2 Legacy. So every once in a blue moon, we'll come back to this and play it. Um, I might work it into something else in the future. You know what I mean. But for right now, that's the situation. That's what's going on, and uh, and that's why it's it's based on on feedback that we've gotten from you guys that that we agree with, and we really appreciate that. You know, I'm always trying to make these streams better and more entertaining and more fun especially because i know a lot of you guys are, are subscribed here on twitch and uh and i want to make sure that subscription is worthwhile for you guys so i always want to make them as entertaining as i can so that's what's up that's what we're doing and that's why and um i hope that's okay i hope you guys don't miss the sims 2 streams too much <laughs> we will still have them sometimes just uh just not regularly the way that we were doing before all right, why don't you serve a chef's salad? Let's have let's have some food. What are you doing over there, Torment? Of course, Jane. Happy to do it. I, I've, like, kind of hinted at it before, I think, on previous streams, but I never, like, fully explained. Hang on, I think one of the kitty cats wants in. She probably is going to want right back out. <laughs> yeah, I think it's helpful. Like for me, it's it's helpful in the sense of like this will make our um, it easier for us to take it more seriously when when it comes to to our streams and to our topics and things like that as we kind of transition into this new phase of inner stage window where it's not really all about role play, where we've kind of like talked about the role play topics that we want to talk about. And we're sort of, you know, moving on to other things that, um, that we're interested in that we want to share with people, you know, cause for better or for worse, at the end of the day, there is only so much that can be said about, um, about role play, right? And, uh, and Landon and I, and I both feel like we're, we've reached, we're reaching kind of the end of what we really passionately have to say about various role play topics. I thought you were going to cancel my Saturday streams and I was going to have to host a suit in. <laughs> oh, Jane, I would never cancel the Saturday streams. I really like streaming twice a week. I think if I were to ever, ever like, quote unquote, cancel the streams, I wouldn't cancel them so much. I, I might change the schedule around if that was needed. But, um, yeah, I would never, I would never just cancel the streams. We'd still have two streams a week no matter what. <laughs> All right. I feel like, I still feel like the volume is really loud. Let me look at my settings. Oh, the music's lower, but let's turn these down a little bit, especially their voices. Their voices are so loud in my ear. Okay. All right. And I can probably turn this back up a little bit. There we go. Oh, uh, thank you so much for the hydrate. I will do that. Okay, it's still really loud. Let's turn that way back down. All right. <clears throat> We can all work together to make Karen a full-time streamer so that we can enjoy content every day. <laughs> if I actually could make a living at this, um, I totally would, and I would absolutely stream every day. I really, really love doing it. But um, that is something that would have to that would have to be in the future. I need I need lots more friends. <laughs> I need lots more friends to make that happen. So you guys go out and uh, and make friends for me and uh, and tell them to come to the stream. <laughs> All right, Landon, you need to come in here and hang out with your new friend. Why don't you tell her a joke? Let's see what her relationship is like with this person. Oh, not very good. She's going to have to work a lot harder on that. All right, Queen is in position for the, the baby cam if y'all want, uh, want to get that going. If anybody wants that, Queen is there. She is enjoying looking out the window right now. <laughs> Let's do it. Go. F you You can do it, Pickles. I believe in you. <laughs> we also have to increase the streamer network. We also have to increase the streamer network. Kendra started streaming, for you guys that don't know. Um, you should definitely go and follow her. I know most of you guys in the chat right now are, are following her, but not everybody, so... Feels. There we go. Let's do a shout-out for her. Um, if you're not following her, go follow her. Uh, it's a good time. She played Crusader Kings for her first stream, which was a game that I had never seen before. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> it was awesome. 
What smells bad? What are you so worried about that smells bad, Landon? Oh, the garbage right there that I couldn't see. <laughs> well, I guess you can clean that up. That's okay. She won't do it on her own. She's too messy. Believe in the pickles that believes in you, Karen. Well, thank you, pickles. I do believe in you, so that makes it easier. <laughs> All right, let's chat with your friend a little more. Torment, how are you doing? You can go to bed. You can go to bed. You're not going to tell your mom a dirty joke. Wait, why Why does he continue to struggle with going to sleep in that bed? I don't understand what's blocking him. I thought I fixed that last time. Because there's... Let's see. Um, Alright, why don't you answer the phone, Landon? Go answer the phone. Let's see. Miscellaneous... No, adjuster. No, I don't want to change model. Sim settings. Um, pregnancy. No, there should be like bed route rerouting. Ingus and accessible beds is disabled. No, I want that enabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought there was. I thought there was a setting in here where I could set who, like, bed preferences. Show token stats for... Torment? No, that's fine. Oh, man. Nax. Welcome in. Welcome in, Almond Nax. How's it going? I can only see two pieces of drywall and a tombstone. <laughs> the stem screen hasn't moved? Oh. Hang on. What's going on? Uh, okay, yeah, uh, I don't know why it wasn't moving. Y'all missed a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. It looks like it's moving now. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. <laughs> Y'all tell me when that stuff happens. <laughs> oh my gosh, if it, that's what you were seeing, you hadn't seen anything. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You missed so much. <sighs> well, let's wake, um, let's wake him up and see if he'll get to his bed now. Oh, but he's not sleepy. Oh well. We'll just have him relax. I was busy cooking bacon for my salad. Ooh, that sounds good. I want a big salad. Oh, we're having, y'all, we're having um, beef ribs today. That's what Levi is smoking. And um, I'm so excited, y'all. He found this new website. Yeah, sleep in pajamas. He found this new website that he can order from. And um, let's see. Let's admire her. Uh, and, and he ordered beef ribs from them. And y'all, they are massive. They're way bigger than the beef ribs that we can get uh, from the grocery store. And I am so excited. I didn't notice. I thought it's because we were, we were in a settings menu. No, it was just literally like the stream bugging out. <laughs> it was literally just OBS freaking out. Doing well, crazy cat lady. How about you? I am a crazy cat lady. But Almanacs, I don't think I know you. Who, who are you? Do, did I just forget? Did I do like the streamer faux pas of totally forgetting one of my viewers? If if so, I deeply, deeply apologize. Um, what are you doing over there, Christy? Why don't why don't we say goodbye? It's getting late. Get out the bath, Landon. Say goodbye to your new friend. What is she doing? What are you doing over there, Christy? I've been watching for quite some time. Oh, really? Well, welcome in then. Sorry I missed you before. That's on me, then, if you've been watching for a while. All right, so you can say goodbye to Christy, and then she can go to bed, I guess. She needs to be well-rested for work tomorrow. She still has to perform well, even though she can't get the promotion quite yet. She still needs to, uh, she still needs to make another friend. All right, you can go to sleep, Landon. And Tormund, why don't we have you sleep? Okay, yeah, the bed was just bugged. I guess, because it seems to be working now. No. Sleep in that one. Oh, what the freak. Okay. What is happening? Let's try looking again. I said ARC to default. Maybe it's not ARC. Lot settings. Bed routing. Okay, that's enabled. I thought I had something where... Maybe it's not that. Maybe it's this mod. <laughs> no, that mod's not doing it. Lol, kidding, I've seen your YouTube, never caught a stream before. Soggy. Oh, okay. That's awesome. 
Um, so is spare room going to change from RP to other stuff? I mean, it kind of already is, Lunar. We already kind of talk... We already spend, you know, at least the two streams per month doing the whatever media analysis and then like a fandom follow up on that immediate media analysis. So it's kind of already happening, but we are we still have a couple other RP topics that we want to want to cover. So it's like, good job, Queen. <laughs> good job, Queen. Oh, my gosh. Here, I didn't turn on the baby cam, too. And that made. Why is the stream keep doing that? OK. All right, Queen. Apparently, I'm not allowed to have the door closed. Here we go. We're just going to have it cracked. Hopefully, then the cats can still get out and back in and be okay with that. Um, and I'm not being too loud. I don't know. I could have sworn. Okay, I could have sworn I had a mod that would fix stuff with the beds. Maybe he just doesn't want to sleep in the same room with his sister. And that's all it's about. I don't know why, though. That's definitely something The Sims can do. Well. I guess we can fix that with... How do we want to do that? How do we want to do that? Well, let's move you over here. Because eventually we'll have more babies, I'm sure. And let's give this door... Let's make this door be here. And then let's put a door here. And I don't know if we have enough to fix this. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to run out of money. Okay. Well, maybe tomorrow when Landa gets paid, we can build more wall so that they have separate rooms. And that will fix it, I hope. <laughs> I hope, I hope. Okay. Um... But yeah, Lunar, we have a we do have a couple of other um, RP topics. Oh, you said spare room. Does that mean spare room is going to change from RP stuff to other stuff? So I am still working on what's going to happen to spare room. I'm still working on it. Uh, TBD on that. I do plan to update you guys uh, at some point in November to have made some kind of you know some kind of decision for sure what's happening. Oh my God, Tormund, please do not eat that nasty rotting food. Don't eat that. Why won't it let me clean it up? Okay, just clean all this up. Clean up. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. That's gross. And um, and so I uh, in November, I'm going to be at the three-year anniversary of Spare Room. So I will owe you guys an update of what's going to happen to that show in that time. But um, it is kind of getting to the point in Spare Room as well where I have covered the things that I that I want to cover you know what I mean like there is unfortunately a finite amount <laughs> of role play help that I am passionate about offering that I that I care about that I think is is necessary that I um that I feel like needs to be said you know what I mean like there's just there's a finite amount and um and I am getting to the point where I am I'm reaching that finite amount but Again, I owe you guys an update in uh, in November for for that for the three year anniversary. See, he'll sleep in the same bed with his mom, but he won't sleep in that bed for some reason. Is it a child only bed? Am I just being dumb? And this is literally just a child only bed. Craftsman's pine bed. Let's see. Craftsman's pine bed. That's this one. Yeah, this doesn't, this isn't specific to kids. I don't know why he won't sleep in the bed, but he'll sleep in the bed with his mom. I don't know, whatever, it's weird. Tormund, you're crazy. Karen, are you going to play New World? Possibly. I've been looking at it. I'm thinking about it. Um, I've been thinking about it. Uh, I definitely love MMOs, so it is, it's on my list, but, um, but uh, I don't have it downloaded or anything like that. I know it, it came out, I think it's still, it's still beta. Uh, I have to go back and look, but I know people were playing it. Like, I saw that people were playing it, so I am aware of its existence. Is it because... Is it because there's a roof problem? No, he's got roof. He's got roof. Torment, why won't you sleep in that bed? I don't know. He's being a, a, a butt about it. I hope it isn't ending. Well, Lunar, I've been doing it for three years. Everything has to end eventually. <laughs> but I'm still going to make content. I mean, I'm never going to stop making content. 
Um, I really love doing it, and uh, and I don't think there's a finite of things that I want to to make as far as videos and streams and go and things like that. But uh, there is a finite amount of things that I have to say about roleplay. Because at the end of the day, like, there's only so much advice that I think that you can give on, on writing. There's only so much advice that you can give on um, telling people that they need to improve their social skills, right? Um, interpersonal skills, things like that. There's only a, a finite amount of things that you can tell people about how to uh, run run their role play groups. I mean, you get the idea, right? And um, and there's just there's certain ways that I that I do it, and I can only give advice on the things that that I know have worked for me, you know, which is a finite amount of things. So that being said, um, you know, there will there will be a day that I've made every spare room episode that can potentially exist. And that then it's time for, you know, for somebody else to take it over and uh, and make a role play help YouTube channel and give their advice, you know. And I'm sure if it comes from another person, there'll be other, you know, new things that maybe I didn't say or things said in a different way. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, there's only so much that I as an individual can say about it. I had an idea for my channel where I interview some RP website owners and RPers and tell their stories and reasons why they came into the scene. Yeah, that would be really cool. I would definitely watch something like that. Alright, what does she want to do? She wants to jump rope. She wants to get a puppy. Ooh. I don't think we have enough money really to get a puppy right now. I would love to fulfill that want, but I think it's a bad idea. Later. Later I think we will. Um, why don't you jump rope, though? Let's have her jump rope. But yeah, Lunar, don't fret, because I won't ever stop making content. <laughs> I won't ever stop making content, so. Landon has the day off today. Why does she have the day off? Oh, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Oh, it was Sunday night that I looked before. Oh, she wants to fall in love. Play catch, tickle, Lily. Okay, well, you can definitely tickle your daughter right there. I thought about doing RP stuff on my channel, but I don't feel like I have enough knowledge. Um, but you've been RPing for a while. I don't know. I would think that you, you have something to offer. I might not be as much content as, um, as I made, but that doesn't mean you don't have stuff that you could offer. You know what I mean? Um, oh, was tickle. That's what I had. Yeah. Let's see. She wants to swing. Okay, let's do that. Belle, welcome, welcome. So happy to see you. I'm so glad you're able to catch the stream today. Oh, that's Ash. Ash moved to the baby spot. You can see her booty. Um, Sims 2 looks so weird. Maybe it's because I'm a Sims 4 person. <laughs> yeah, I always go try to play like Sims 3 and Sims 4 and things like that, but I just... My love is in Sims 2, what can I say? <laughs> this is the one that I like. Because I do love RP. Yeah, you do, I know, and, and you're you're very active um, in your roleplay and you've been doing it for a while, so... You know, don't feel like that just because... You, you don't have a large volume of things to say means that you don't have, like, things to say. Does that make sense? Like, you don't... There's not, like, a, a certain amount where, like, oh, you have to have provided this much value to be able to make any piece of content. No, like, you could make just a few pieces of content and that's still valuable. You know what I mean? I love how she's always in the undies. It's true. Landon lives her life in her pajamas and in her underwear. Um, it's the only two outfits she has. She only gets dressed when it's time to go to work. She also wants to be friends with Chris Christy. Oh, Landon wants to get a kitten. Uh, Landon, you do not have enough money for that. You need to relax. You just lost your husband. You spent all of his trust fund on this house. Now you've got to build your wealth back up a little bit. You know, before this is going to work out. Okay, thank you, Torment, for making breakfast. Um, after you serve that, why don't you... Let's see. Can he call everyone to the meal? Yeah, call to meal household. All right, everybody, come eat. 
I was just thinking that this is a very chill PJ fam. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of how I play Sims 2 as well. Like, I don't really um, spend time having them get dressed. I don't know. It's not a priority for me, them wearing um, their regular clothes all the time. <laughs> now, if it's, like, cold out, cold, if it's, like, winter time, sometimes I'll put them in there in those clothes because they'll, you know, they'll automatically do that when they walk outside. Um, if it's cold, they'll put on their, their outerwear, as it's called. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Torment is a young man now. He is, he's the man of the house. He has to take care of things without his dad. See, like, look at that. He's like, he's all grown up. You can so tell in his face. All right, why don't you have another one? Cause it looks like you're still kind of hungry. Maybe my... Let's see. Random sim generator. Nope. I don't remember what mod that it had that I have that's supposed to assign them beds. Nope. What you doing, Lily? Oh no, why are you sick? Oh no! And she threw up on the floor. That's just lovely. Why don't you use the bathroom, Lily? <laughs> Poor thing. She probably ate some rotten food because I wasn't paying attention to that salad and it got gross. Yeah, poor kid for sure. That sucks. She lost her dad, and now she's and now she's actually sick. There's too much going on in her world. All right, what do they want to do today? And she wants a pet really bad. That's like all her wants. We're not doing that. I'm sorry. Okay, he wants to go to college, private school, get an A plus report card. Oh, she's gonna take a shower. Okay, Tormund, can you um put away the leftovers? And then maybe, how are his grades? He wants to get into private school. He's a C minus student, so that's not good. I was gonna say maybe we could have try to get him into private school, but if he's got a C minus, that's probably not gonna happen. Plus, that would cost money, so it's probably not not the best idea, even though he wants to. A bit of backtrack, but my issue with starting up a channel right now is that I'm currently too busy with school, work, and health. Hopefully, once I get a good schedule down, I can get a webcam and V2 remodel to make some content. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Um. What I can say to that is that uh, that if you don't have time, you'll never have enough time. You have to make it. Like if you want if you want to do things in life, you have to make it, which sometimes does mean sacrificing other things. You know. Um, so there's only so much time in the day, right? And there's definitely things that I that I want to do that I don't do because I am spending time making content. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no worries. I, I think there's a delay today. I mean, it was already doing, like, weird things with, like, not showing y'all what was going on in The Sims. So I think something's up. Something's up with either with OBS that's causing some weird stuff. Koneko, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Okay, she wants to be friends with Christy, so let's, let's call Christy over. We need that friend anyways. We need that friend for her promotion, so hopefully, hopefully we, maybe we can make friends with her today and Landon can get that promotion when she goes to work tomorrow. Um, invite over. Yeah, let's invite over. Yeah, hence want a good schedule first. Yeah, exactly, for sure. Sweet! She's coming over, guys. We're gonna make a friend. We're gonna make a friend. Torment's so, Torment's so good with Lily, always, like, reading to her and hanging out with her and things like that. It's really nice. Me, what is schedule? <laughs> no such thing. Well, Kendra, you have a little toddler. I think when you have little kids like that, like, the schedule is kind of what they say the schedule is. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, you need to take a shower, honey. You stink. All right, and Torment, you should probably change into your clothes because... 
Landon's got a friend over. Uh, okay. Go greet your friend, Landon. We need to make friends. She's, Christy here is very athletic, so maybe she'll be good. All right, I just got back from horseback riding and I had so much fun. Oh my gosh! Oh, Corneco, that's awesome! Horseback riding sounds like so much fun. Oh, I love their little greeting! That was so cool! Oh, they're friends now! Yay! Okay, let's, um... Oh, and now she wants to be best friends. Okay, fabulous. Well, we'll get that up a little bit more to make sure that's kind of solidified, right? Um, and then hopefully Landon will get a promotion tomorrow. She's on track. She got the friend, so that should be that should be good for her. I wish I could find. I wish I could find the mod that I thought I had about. Maybe I just didn't, maybe I didn't place it. Maybe I have it in here and I didn't place it. That would be embarrassing. Let's see what we've got. Bree, welcome in, welcome in, Bree. How's it going? Oh, I love that you have the little unicorn now. That's so cute. <laughs> it's fun, I ride every week, it's usually amazing. I've only been, um, I've only horse been horseback riding a couple of times, but, um, but I really, I, I liked it the couple of times I did it. When I was in Girl Scouts, when not growing up, um, we uh, we went to horseback riding a couple of times. And uh, and it was really fun. Okay, maybe it's this guy. What is this thing? What does it do? Power idle, repeat current action, all. What? Procrastinate, dig for stuff. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. I don't know what I downloaded that for, what my intention for that thing was. Object rotators. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's in decorative. Sometimes the mods are like in the decorative section. Like this guy. What is this? This is the last name copier. Okay, no. I'm not trying to fix last names. I don't think that's... yeah. Options, hide, yeah. It's not needed. Okay. When I was a kid, we used to have a yearly block party where we rented out pony rides. <gasps> Bell! That sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. I want to do that. She just had you on China and only made it run. <laughs> You're still married. <laughs> oh my god. Pickles, that's ridiculous. Your wife sounds really cool. <laughs> okay, Tormen, you can make you can make friends with Christy. That's fine. Someone needs to like put away all these books though. But everybody's having so much fun playing. I don't want to interrupt them, so we'll just leave it like this. All right. I think what we're gonna have to do is expand. Yeah, we're gonna have to like expand this and create a, another bedroom back here so that Tormund can have his own room and I and I assume hopefully that will fix the whole weird bed situation that's going on. Um, hopefully Landing gets paid enough when she works tomorrow that we can make some of that happen. You know? Today we're doing something fun with the horses. We had to go from a walk to a gallop. My horse was a little too excited. He went for zoomies. Ah! <laughs> zoomies with you on his back, I assume? <laughs> that sounds hilarious. <laughs> He was having fun. It was time to go. Go, go, go. <laughs> There's hot dogs and burgers and all the kids were there. Someone is a goats or rabbits. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that so much, Belle. I'm so jealous. That sounds really cool. What's going on? The kid still has zoomies. <laughs> Eliza has a cold. Let me tell you, the little voice all stuffed up is so sad. Oh no, Kendra. Her voice is awesome anyway. The couple times I've I've heard it, um, she's she's always she's always so excited to tell us what's going on, whether it makes any sense or not. <laughs> and I love that about her. Oh, she's tired. Oh, she's really tired. Okay, well that's fine. You can um, 
sleep in pajamas. She says hi. Hi, Eliza. How are you doing today? Nine times out of 10, there's no sense. Yeah, most of the time there's not. Sometimes she makes sense. <laughs> I wanna do the 100 baby challenge with Sims 4. They have bunk beds. You should so do the 100 baby challenge. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, there's a traffic problem. Okay, let's try to fix this. Uh, I don't actually need these walls. They didn't help. Can I delete them? Yeah, the Sims are too close to them. It's not gonna let me. Okay. I guess you can sleep in this bed. I mean, your brother won't sleep in it, so whatever. Go to this one. Okay, uh, there she goes. Alright, why don't you get out of her room? Oh, what's he congratulating her on? Killing her husband? I don't know. Play red hands. Don't she's trying to sleep. The little girl's trying to sleep. Why don't y'all get the leftovers and have some food? You look hungry. Oh, did I mention you that I tried a ghost pepper? Oh, I saw you mention it in the in the cafe, um, pickles, but uh, I think I was busy at the time. I don't think I said anything. Um, uh, but I saw your message. <laughs> it sounds like uh not fun. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Oh, the chair's in the way. Whatever. Well, you're hungry, Landon, so why don't you eat a toaster strudel? Why don't you eat a leftover toaster strudel? Oh, it wasn't as bad as you thought? Is that what is that what she said? I don't remember. But I know I like as I was scrolling, I saw a message about a ghost pepper, so I assume that was from you, Pickles. <laughs> yeah, but you're used to that spicy stuff and you love it. So I mean I like spicy stuff too, like a lot, but for me, it's about the flavor. You know what I mean? It's about the flavor. So I just can't imagine myself enjoying a ghost pepper very much. I need to get some tables to put these things up on. They look weird just sitting on the floor. I wonder... Landon definitely needs another, another target to get some money. I don't think her is going to be fast enough for her just working. And she does want to fall in love. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. What are these options? Oh, blow kiss. Um, why don't you toast? Oh, she got up, so they can't toast anymore. Oh, no, she'll, she'll sit back down. Okay. They're going to toast. Toasting to good friendship. Why don't you use the toilet? At some point, we'll have enough money that we'll hire a maid and things like that too. So that will be really helpful when we get that far. But it um, takes sometimes a generation or two to make that happen. Those walls did not help with the bed situation. I guess I'm really just gonna have to make another room. I don't know why Tormund is refusing to sleep in that bed. Yeah, I don't see... Oh, there it goes, adjust bed ownership. Dude, where's my bed? Maybe this is the thing? Okay, he really, he thinks that's his bed. Okay, I knew I had a mod about that. It just wasn't one of the items. Okay, Tormund, why don't we adjust bed ownership clear? And then how do I make him... So then I'll make him sleep in this bed just briefly to get ownership. And that should work. I see Landon still loves her pillow fights and tickles. She's doing it with Christy now, too. <laughs> it's actually a very sweet and tangy flavor before. Um, it's like fire in the back of your throat that milk and water can't touch. Oh, okay. All right, I think I might have fixed Torment's bed issues. Okay, but you don't need to sleep right now. It's still early in the day. Actually, you can probably wake up, too. You had a nice little nap. 
High five. Okay. McNugget, any gender sim. Okay, Kendra, I'll put it on the list. We have, um, there's two other names, I think, still. is Samantha and Kronk. So th this McNugget will be after Samantha and Kronk. If we had more money, I'd go get a kitten. And, um, <laughs> and we could name the kitten McNugget, but... Uh, we just don't make enough. We will definitely get a, a get an animal taken away from us. So we're not going to do that. Okay, everybody's back in PJs because they took naps. Why don't you go back and change into your everyday? And you go change into your everyday too. Sims, Karen, how long have you been playing this? Well, this particular game... I started a while ago, but we only play it on stream every once in a while. So we're still in the first generation of our of the Legacy Challenge. That's where we are right now. Landon is my co-host typically, so this is Landon right here, sim version of Landon. That's how this is set up. Um, and then, uh, but I've been playing Sims 2 since it was released. You know what I mean? Like I've been playing Sims 2 since like literally forever. Uh, let's change into every day. You can be in your pajamas, but you have a friend over, so you know what I'm saying? Thank you for the hydrate, Kenda. I appreciate that. But welcome in, um, Butta Brothers. Um, to a little a little bit about me for, for those that don't know, we have our Saturday streams, which are typically not just me. They're typically me, me and my friend Landon, and we do media analysis. We talk about fandom topics, and we also have community days where we play games with our friends. Right now, the main community day thing that we're doing is, um, is Stardew Valley, so we, we do that regularly too. And then I have Thursday streams, which are... Uh, which are just me, and that's where we play games that I want to play. So right now, a lot of what we're doing is going through Final Fantasy X. We're towards the end. We're doing a bunch of side quests right now before we go into Sin. Um, but I also will show off other games that I really love since uh, Mist was one of those that I played a lot as a kid. So we recently did a two-part stream going through the Mist 2021 that uh, was just released and playing that. So that was really super fun that we did. And I guess since we're talking about that, I can tell you guys a little bit about what I have planned for um, for Spooky Month for October. Because <laughs> um, y'all know I love to have some specific Halloween plans for my streams. Uh, last year on Artistic License on the Thursday stream, I thought I was going to play an actual scary game because I know people love watching that. But then um, actually trying to stream that reminded me that I am a total wuss and I cannot do that so um, I, I'm having to choose something that's a little bit more my speed but I think it's still like spooky scary fits into the Halloween vibe so towards the end of the month I am going to do a blind playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club I've never played it before I somehow missed all the hype don't know how exactly that happened and um, <laughs> so I'm gonna be playing Doki Doki Literature Club on the Thursday stream for for my spooky Halloween stream. I'm gonna uh, do it. I think the 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 second to last and then the last Thursday of October. And if it takes a third stream, we'll just do it in uh, in November. But from everything that I've googled, it's probably a, a two take two streams to to beat it, or at least get far enough to get it to an ending. Right. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know anything about this game except for it was very, very popular and uh, and it's surprising apparently, but it's because it's a dating sim um, and the format of those games doesn't freak me out nearly as much. So even if there's some really scary stuff, I should be able to continue playing it. It shouldn't be like a problem <laughs> the way that Outlast was last year where I was getting jump scared and like mentally freaked out so much that I just couldn't handle it. <laughs> Yeah, I never played Doki Doki either, and I totally missed the, the hype when it was going. Um, I never watched anyone play it, so I really don't know much about it. Uh, I, I'm trying not to spoil myself, so, you know, what I know is very, very minimal. And um, and I'm really excited to uh, to play that with you guys. So, aw, sibling hug, that's so cute. So that's what we're going to do on the Thursday streams. I'm excited for it. Um, I really, I can't wait. Okay, why don't you go sleep in pajamas? It's time for bed, everybody. Uh, all right, why don't you go to sleep too? Um, I can't play Sims no more. The shame. I had some horrific lies. My family starved. The bartender magically died. The house burned down. Renew gameplay. My wife dead. Husband collapsed due to dehydration. 
One got overworked and they pretty much everybody died. Well, last um, last we left these Sims off, Landon's husband, Malcolm, you see there's no father in the picture. That's because he died. He's he's back here. He's back here. This is Malcolm's grave right here. Here lies Malcolm S. Sue. It was Malcolm Landgrab, but we, we married him into the family and uh, and changed his name to Landon's last name. <laughs> uh, Bell, oh, Bell hasn't played. Pickles hasn't played. Uh, Koneko hasn't played. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you guys to experience it with me because I really don't know anything, um, anything about it. Lunar, I'm sure you have played. This game is right up your alley. I watched a YouTuber play it and it was cool. I played along some with them. Oh, I bet you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This definitely seems like a, like a Lunar kind of game. Budic, Budic, yes, that means the rock fell. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, but uh, that's just kind of like uh the typical for me you know what i mean like that's just that's just how sims goes it's uh it's time for chaos all the time and um and that's what we should do okay why don't you torment why don't you serve some toaster pastries for breakfast i want to play with my gaming laptop heckin broke bell oh no i'm so sorry hopefully you can get a new gaming laptop um in the near future Okay, and here is the the Halloween stream plan for, for Interstage Window for this show. So we are going to do a Halloween community day on the last Saturday of the, the month, all right? And we are going to be playing Don't Starve Together. So we're going to be playing the spooky version of Stardew, and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So if you guys don't have Don't Starve Together yet, um get it it's not very expensive if you do have it please play with us i played it during the hundred um the hundred uh follower party that we had um on twitch but um i i must admit i didn't know what i was doing so i i would love to to go in again without knowing too much of what's going on <laughs> and um and uh and kind of just like play with you guys and uh and and mess up and die a lot probably <laughs> Unless someone actually knows how to play, then you're welcome to join and teach us if you like. The last time I played, I got sucked into a hole. <laughs> so I got to get a replacement for that or just a new computer. Yeah, Belle, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It must be done sometimes that you just have to get a new computer. All right, why don't you put away the leftovers, Tormund, because the school bus is going to be here in just a little bit. I don't feel like she needed to show up. I guess she showed up because there's an hour that they're being left unattended, but like, geez, it's only an hour. They're not that young. <clears throat> it's kind of ridiculous. Hopefully she doesn't stick around the whole time and charge us that whole amount. Um, that would be unfortunate. Can, can Lily tell her to fuck off? Um, influence to... Uh... Repair? Is there anything to repair in this house? I guess there is. Well, I guess well, she'll get her to repair some stuff. There's something broken somewhere, I guess. Yeah, you should totes repair our stuff for free, Nanny. Then at least you'll be earning your paycheck while the kids go to school. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for our Halloween Community Day. We're going to be doing um, Don't Starve Together. I'm excited for it. And, uh, and if you don't have it, then something that I realized is that if, if you, if you buy the game, you also automatically get a copy for a friend. So if you, if you don't have it, maybe pair up and you want to get it, maybe pair up with someone else who doesn't have it so that you can just pay for one copy and then the other one can get the gifted copy on Steam. Um, that's how that game works anyway. And I didn't realize that until, until way later, you know? Tormund's doing slightly better at school, but still has horrible grades. Oh no, Tormund! That sucks. Oh, you need to answer the phone. It's been a so-so week. I want to make this week better. Understood. We will try. I don't have to get a new computer, though, because it's actually pretty nice. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Belle. Well, do you know if you can fix it or take it to somebody who, who has the ability to fix it? Don't Starve is one of my favorite games. <gasps> Kitty, I'm so excited you said that because when I picked it, you know, we've been having so much fun with Stardew Valley, Valley you know, me, me, you, Kendra, and, um, and Landon. And so I was like, well, we should do the spooky Stardew Valley for Halloween to kind of like, 
you know, keep keep the farm life going. <laughs> um, and Kitty, you can you can explain to us how we're supposed to play or, or give us tips or whatever. You know what I mean? Because I really don't fully understand it or what you're supposed to do, except for not die. Um, I do understand that much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, he needs to get his fun up. After he cleans that up, I guess. Okay, well, he can then play SSX3 after he cleans that up. By the way, I gotta go. No! Tell work no, Belle. He said, no, you're hanging out with your friends playing Sims. You can't come to work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go to work. Have a good day, Belle. I'm sorry you got called in. That's the worst. And good luck with your computer. Hubby knows how to build computers, so we just replace the parts. Yeah, we replace the parts too, pretty much. I mean, I've got a, a pretty good case that I that I like at this point, so I don't feel the need to buy a whole new computer if something breaks, which is nice. Ah, awesome! Thank you, Kitty. I'm excited. Okay. So we still do have somebody that knows how to play it because Landon and I don't really know how to play. Like I said, I played that once um, at the party and I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was just kind of like, you know, following along best I could. And we didn't die a lot or anything, but I don't feel like I really grasped or learned the game either. I haven't played together version, so I'm going to practice it ahead. Well, I'm sure, I guess if you played the single player version, like the together version must be similar, right? Like it can't be that different. I know it, there's like additional characters with abilities and things like that in, in, in that aspect it's different, but I assume it's still the same game as far as you're supposed to, you know, kill monsters and eat food. Yay, Landon got promoted! Now she's a teacher's aide! Teaching is a stressful job that requires a lot of grunt work and you're just the grunt to do it. Clean erasers and full fill glue bottles will take you right to the top. Okay, she works from 8 to 15, starting immediately. Okay, yeah, 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 and she got a nice little bonus. Okay, let's build a second bedroom so that Torment has his own bedroom. He's not having to share with his sister. Hopefully we have enough funds to do that. I want to... I really... We didn't finish this room before, so actually let's... Let's finish this. Because now that I fixed... I figured out how to access my mod that does the bed stuff. Okay, so now at least we have floor and walls in there, even though they're not very cute. But that's okay. That's okay. It's not a big deal. Um. Okay, how do we want to do this? Landon's room is already pretty big. I want, like, the symmetry, you know? So I want to build the other bedroom here, even for future symmetry, even though it's going to look kind of weird for right now. And then make this a, a hallway. So this is another this is another little hallway kind of area. I think that's what I'm doing. Landon is a teacher is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she's in the education track. So let's see. This is one. How many squares is this? This is... Oh, I didn't mean to scroll that far. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four. Oh, why? Oh, because I need to build a foundation. Ha, 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 duh. Okay. One, two, three, four. And we'll go across like that. Okay. Probably not that different, but I've also played PS4 version, not PC, so controls elite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get used to a certain version, right? And you get that certain muscle memory. At least I definitely do. <laughs> um, in in games, like, that happens to me all the time. And, uh, and it can actually be kind of frustrating, you know? Oh, definitely ran out of money before we finished making that bedroom. That's a shame. Landon, you need to make mo money mo faster. Um, well, I know I'm going to need... Well, we'll go ahead and move this door. Let's move this door over here because we know that's where it's going to go. And then we'll put this door back where it was before. That can go there. Do we have enough to add some more foundation for this hallway? Yes. Okay, so we can at least do that. We'll have to wait till Landon gets paid again to finish more of those walls. Um, soon, soon Tormund will have his own bedroom. He won't have to share with his sister. It's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. <clears throat> Exclamation Landon. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, here we go. 
All right, Lily, how are you doing? Ooh. Oh, thank you for the applause. I'll, I'll tell Landon that she got some applause today, so now she knows she can live another week. Who did... Lily brought home a... Jaden Haggerty. Okay. Sure, whatever. No. Why don't you just take a bath? There you go. In the other bathroom. Sorry. Lily got to that one first. Okay, I don't know why you brought home your friend who's super uncomfortable. That's a little strange. But okay. How's your fun doing? It's getting up there. It's getting up there. This is... Oh, that's Lily's homework. And that's his homework. Okay. What are Lily's wants? She still wants to get a puppy. She wants to do her homework. Oh, her fun is super low. But maybe we can do her homework and then we can let her have some fun. There's another chair right there, little kid. Stop crying to torment. He cannot help you. You don't need to sit in that specific chair. <laughs> okay. You don't. <laughs> oh, she wants to play with the bird. Well, we can go ahead and stock the cage. Oh, no, we can't because it's $400. Someday we'll stock that cage. <sighs> okay. What are they doing? Oh, they're playing cops and robbers. That's cute. Oh, I just had to posture check myself, y'all. <laughs> Sims are so moody. They really are. They're so picky. So yesterday, as uh, as most of you guys know, we started our movie every single day in uh, in October to avoid the Halloween curse thing that we do at my house. And um, the first movie that we decided to watch was the new 2021 uh, Candyman. And I have to tell you guys, it's really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was kind of... It's basically like an urban legend. It's talking about like the urban legend of Candy of uh, Candyman, and then um, it's kind of pairing that with uh, with the gentrification that goes on in a lot of poorer neighborhoods, right? So it's kind of comparing and contrasting those two things. Um, so I really liked the theming of it. I thought the performances were pretty good. Um, I just enjoyed it. You know, it was it was good for um, for a remake, right? I usually have pretty low expectations of, uh, of horror movie remakes. Some of them are, are so terribly bad, <laughs> but uh, but this one was this one was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I found it pretty entertaining. So if you if you uh, like horror movies, you might want to check out the new Candyman. It is not bad, TM. I thought it was all right and uh, and better than what I expected. You don't. Know. Why don't you do this? Go potty and then take a shower. What does he want to do? He's still, like, pulling all these wants about private school and college. Oh, may you get a cage in your imagination, kid. Sorry. <laughs> Kendra! <laughs> oh, my God. I only watch scary movies to get good reviews. Otherwise, it's not worth losing sleep for weeks, so that's good to know. Yeah. I know what you mean. Um... I don't like watching a huge amount of gore, but if something's really well done, then I'm happy to, because then it's like kind of, you know, if it's shot well, right, and it's like stylistic, then um, then I'm okay to watch it. But if it's just like a gore fest for gore fest, like kind of how the Saw movies eventually became, then I'm not so into it. You know what I mean? Like the first so couple Saws, I really enjoyed and thought were really good. Then it became like super hyper focused on the gore aspect of it. And, uh, and I lost interest and just thought it was just gross and just was like, this is uncomfortable for no reason, or that's how it felt to me anyway. If you still like it, no shade, but, um, but I got over it after the first couple movies. I just don't like seeing all that stuff if I feel like there's not, you know, good reasons for it or it's not shot particularly well, in my opinion, you know, things like that. All right, Jaden, you're a little, or sorry, Torment, you're a little hungry. Let's get leftovers. Love them, but I'm telling you, my screamer and a hider. I once again agree to see Halloween and walked out during the first scene. Just wait in the lobby. <laughs> Kitty, you crack me up. Oh my god, you crack me up. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't say I. Uh, I have much room to talk, though. You know what I mean. I am. A, I'm a big weenie. And <laughs> I've definitely flaked out on things, you know? 
I don't think I've ever walked out of the theater because I thought a movie was too disturbing. But I have definitely, um, let's see, everyone, call everyone to the meal. But I've definitely, um, when we've been watching movies at home, like tuned it out and opened my laptop to go do something else. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> it just became too much. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that's a thing. What are you doing? You want to show off? Well, your friend's busy playing a video game, so... Or doing something. That doesn't look like a video game. It looks like she's chatting online. Girl, you are too young to be chatting with people online. Oh, she's chatting about sports. Well, I guess if it's about sports, but like, girl, be careful. That's not right. Kids should not be on the internet. I hope everybody's enjoying their dinner of leftover toaster strudels from this morning. The torment prepared. All right. Why don't you give up on that? Why don't you just eat a toaster strudel? I can't believe you submit yourself to scary movies. <laughs> if they're good, you know, if they're good, then I enjoy them. But, you know, I want to feel like there's a payoff, right? Like there's, I want to, I want to feel like, uh, satisfyingly disturbed, if that makes sense. <laughs> If it doesn't feel that satisfying to me, then, um, then I'm not about it. Okay, so she needs to make another friend and she needs to get a charisma point for her, for her work. Sometimes it's worth it that clown maybe was not just scary for no reason, so rude. <laughs> um, you're, are you talking about the remakes, the It remakes? I really enjoyed the first It remake. The second one was dumb, though. Uh, the second, the part two of the It remake, it was, it was just, it was bad. Like, the structure was bad, the characters were weird. There was, like, the payoff was really awkward. I didn't like it. Is that the one with the balloon where everyone simped the forehead clown? That's what I assume. Yeah, that's it. That's what I assume Kitty is talking about. But, yeah. Um, big simp. Big simp for the forehead clown here. Uh, but it, just in the first one. I don't know. Just, the second one just wasn't as good. Uh, it was a shame. Because the first one I thought was really, really well done and really good. Okay. What's happening? They still want a kitten or a puppy. I want to do that for you guys. I really do. But it's just not feasible right now. Let's see. Maybe you can call your friend because you want to be best friends with Christy. So that's good. Well, we'll lock that in for your locked in want. Yeah, get out of here, kid. You were annoying the whole time anyway. Okay, okay. You can go to bed. You can go to bed. Um, It's late, so we're going to just talk. We're not going to invite over. Um, why don't you clean up? The forehead clown. <laughs> yeah, the forehead clown. I know exactly what Kendra's talking about. <laughs> That's so what he is, the forehead clown. You have a stuffed bunny already, you ungracious sim kid. <laughs> It's true. She has this had this toy. Maybe that's what inspired her for wanting pets. Um, but I'm just I'm sorry. We don't have enough money for that. Someday we'll be able to fulfill those wants when we see them. But um, that's just not where it's going to be today. All right. I guess everybody can go to bed. They're pretty tired. Why don't you go to sleep? Oh no, sleep in pajamas. That's right, because he's in the same room as his sister. They're going to use pajamas. She's a teacher. She can't afford more. Exactly. She's a teacher and we killed off the husband. So like, you know, y'all just have to deal for a little bit until we can get this house sorted out. And then we can start doing things like that. You know, maybe if Torment gets his grades up a little bit more, if he keeps, you know, if he keeps, uh, he has this want locked in for the A plus report card. So I'm trying to get him that. And if he can maintain that, then maybe he can go to college and you may in this game, for whatever reason, you make a ton of money when you go to college. It's really strange. <laughs> I don't know why it works that way, but you end up leaving college with a ton of money usually. Pump Pumpernickel the Clown. Pennywise, Kendra. His name is Pennywise. His name is Pennywise. That's because he's being played by a Scars card. So. Oh, and I totally, by the way, guys, um, Labyrinth is definitely in the in the running of uh of you know, Halloween spooky-ish movies that we're going to watch, even though it's not really strictly a horror movie or a Halloween movie or anyway, it was, um, it was agreed that we, that could be part of our, our Halloween movie rotation. So that's going to be one of the ones that we watch too. Oh, Landon, why don't you wait? The kids need to use the bathroom too. 
You can use it after Lily. Sorry. We'll get another bathroom in the house at some point, but right now we need to focus on getting Tormund a bedroom. So it's just going to be a second. Look at Tormund! He's such a little man reading the newspaper on the on the potty. <sighs> oh no, that needs to be clean too. Holy crap. Got gross. It's gross when you end up having to clean your own toilets. Yeah, I know, the toilet's gross, but just go away. Your mom's trying to use it. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I guess I shouldn't have sent Landon in there so quickly. <sighs> gotta keep David Bowie, Bowie alive. True. True. You gotta keep David Bowie alive by watching um, Labyrinth. Okay, there we go. Can she influence the maid to clean? Oh no, I guess she lost all of her influence points. Does he have influence points? Yes. Okay, influence to clean. Oh, he doesn't have enough. Okay. Wait, Landon, before you go to work, can you influence to clean? Yes. So influence her to clean, and then I'll let you go to work. I mean, I know she's going to do some cleaning anyway, but just to make sure. Let's see. Influence to clean. Oh my gosh. So you can stay and do a little bit more cleaning. There we go. Then go to work. I cried on that one. Oh, I cried on that one too, Kendra. Yeah, David Bowie, um, also Alan Rickman. Those are probably two two of the celebrities. And it sounds it seems so ridiculous, you know what I mean? Like they're celebrities. I don't I don't know them. I don't have a relationship with them, not really. But uh, the parasocial feelings are strong. Parasocial feelings are quite strong. So that's that about that. All right. Can you unclog this maybe? You have a little bit of time before the school bus will leave you. Maybe he can make some progress on that. We'll stop him in a second. I know. I know the school bus is waiting for us. Okay, you can stop. You got close. You got close to finishing unclogging it. You can finish that when you get home. Parasocial relationships are wild, you. Yeah, totally. And even in, even then, the crazy thing about them is like even once you know how it functions and how it's affecting you, it's st you still like you're still susceptible to it. Like it it doesn't it doesn't go away. Like awareness doesn't change anything. You still are totally susceptible to the parasocial relationship happening. Oh, okay. So Landon is taking the roll sheets in the front office just after morning announcements when a frantic mother bursts through the front door with her young son trailing behind her. Stop right there. The mother yells at Landon, you cannot turn in that roll sheet. Taken aback, Landon informs the woman that yes, she can turn in the roll sheet. Flustered, the mother reveals that her child is tardy once more. He'll have to repeat the third grade and it just isn't right because he's, excuse me, because it's her fault he's always late. With the pleading mother on her knees before her, Landon is faced with a choice of turning in the roll sheet as is or fudging it a bit to give the young boy one more chance. <gasps> Oh no, we have to alter it. We have to alter it. I'm sorry your mom your mom is uh, shit at being on time, kid. We're not going to let you suffer for that. Landon has no desire to see children suffer because their parents don't use a watch, so she decides to challenge the child for a chance to get back into the class. Using the names of the children on the roll sheet, Landon designs an algorithmic word problem that must be deciphered using the basic functions, long division, and spelling. The students take a minute analyzing the facts and then take another few minutes to jot down the answer. Landon's delighted to see that he answers the question perfectly. Woo! But even more delighted when she realizes the principal saw her teaching skills in action. For handling the situation like a true educator, the principal promotes Landon to substitute teacher. Hell yeah! Promotion that we didn't deserve for cheating. Good job, Landon. Good job. All right, that means we're going to get some more money. We can maybe finish Torment's bedroom. Okay, uh, why don't you work on unclogging that? Oh, she needs to work on her charisma. She needs two more friends. Holy crap. I don't know how far we're going to get with that. She's singing. She's so happy. Landon, you're a real teacher now. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I'm so ba so glad for her. Jane, welcome back. What you missed is that Landon got a promotion. She's a substitute teacher now. Uh, thank you so much, Kitty. Thank you so much for the applause. That's all for Landon. Okay, let's see if we can finish Tormund's room now. Uh, let's get the walls. 
Oh, we need build mode. Yep, there we go with that. And then we can, we don't need this anymore. Okay, now let's put a roof on it. Uh, yep. Let's make sure. Oh, that didn't work right. It doesn't look right. What water roof did we choose before? Hipped? Oh no, I don't like that. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, that's what we're going with. Okay, so he's got a roof. Um, let's try to finish this hallway. And I'm sorry, Tormund, you're just going to have the exact same ugly setup as your sister. Oh, insufficient funds. I'm sorry, we cannot paint your walls. Um, we'll have to do that next time. We've also got some of these inner walls that are not painted, and we've got all these outside walls that are not <laughs> paint it with anything but at least he has a room now at least at least he has his own place for his for his bed um so that's a step up in the world good job Tormund. okay and this is going to become a little hallway i think so the rooms are going to be like this size so we'll break those down and make this a hallway so that they both have good access to the bathroom gyrol is his vibe anyway <laughs> It's true. I mean, he's he's a manly man. He don't need no painted walls. He is the man of the house. So he's good to go. All right, why don't you clean that now that it's all fixed? I'm sorry, Landon. Someday we'll get you a maid. I promise. And why don't you answer that phone? <clears throat> okay, so she's got play catch, tickle lily... And be best friends with Christy. Eric, go ahead and answer the phone. You're gonna miss it. We'll have someone else finish cleaning that toilet. Oh wait, no, it did get it did get finished. Okay, just in time. Good job, Landon. Hey, Landon, is Torment available? No, he's at school, lady. He's at school. But why don't you call your friend? Yeah, call her, and we'll invite her over. She can come hang out. Come hang out, lady. All right. She's been a good. She's been a good family friend. Hanging out with everybody. She seems to like the kids. It's all good. Uh, I hate how um, I hate how this happens. Like, you end up. You can't like mop up what what the puddle underneath the toilet without moving the toilet so we'll have to have her mop that up separately and then move the toilet back it's really strange but that's been something i've noticed as a bug in the sims 2 since forever like that's always happened to me especially when it when it's all wet because of the uh toilet clogged up torment's grades are improving that's fantastic Oh, greet Christy. You were going to greet Christy. I don't know what happened. Oh, Tormund brought a friend home from school. Jay Anderson. He looks like an emo. <laughs> he looks like a little emo. Aw, friendly hug. Alright, how are you doing, Tormund? Oh, your fun's actually not that low. Oh, sweet, best friends. Okay, so why don't you mop this up? And then, um... All right, so then I guess he's still got the A-plus report card. How's he doing? Oh, B-plus, not too bad. All right, so why don't you do your homework then? And he keeps rolling these for college and for private school, I guess because he's a fortune sim. Oh, fall in love and be BFFs, go on a mountain vacation. Okay. Um, well, she needs to work on her charisma. We can go on a mountain vacation um, when it's summer. <laughs> Just kidding. They don't get summer break in this uh, in the schools here. I wish. Okay, she wants to fall in love. She keeps rolling that. So we're just going to flirt. We're going to flirt with um, Christy right here. 
Because she keeps rolling these wants for Christy since we had her talk to her first on the phone. And then the fall in love want, so. There we go. She got a crush. That did not take much. Let's see if she'll do the rest on her own. Oh no, they want to play catch. Okay, that's fine. Tormund, what do you want to do? Buy a cell phone? I guess we can have him buy a cell phone. I can't remember where he buys those from. Let me check something. I don't want to say it's like a vending machine that's at some of the community lots. But I can't remember. I'm just going to Google it real quick while they play catch. Let's see. Buy. Sell. Phone. Sims 2, not real life. I have a phone, Google, thank you. I want to buy a phone in Sims 2. Alright. Sell a phone gadget kiosk. Telephone gadget kiosk is a community lot object. Kiosk is similar to a vending machine. Um, where does it go? Well, it says it's a community lot object. So I guess if I go to a community lot, I'll be able to put place that and he can buy a cell phone. Lily is now one of the top students at school. Fabulous. Good job, Lily. You're a good kid. And she brought a friend home. This is Retrina Rodiek. Okay. But she only wants to hang out with Jaden. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, well, maybe she wants all three of her friends to hang out together. So why don't we call Jaden and invite her over too? What's this, Bailey? Okay, I guess you can play with the dog. Alright. All right, guys, I am going to go refresh my water real quick because um, I'm all out. Oh, let's invite her over actually first. And y'all can just kind of watch. I'll let it I'll let it play. I'll let it continue to play. And um, OK, fabulous. She's coming over. You'll see what they do without me clicking things. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. What did I miss? What's happening? Oh, he's still playing with the dog. Okay, they're reading. Um, what does she want? She wants to be BFFs with Cindy. So why don't we... Oh, Christy. I forgot her name. It's Christy. All right, so let's go... Let's go gossip. Let's go gossip with, with Christy. That's what BFFs do. What do you want to do? Oh, her friend. Did her friend come over? I see the one friend. Where's the other girl? Maybe she's not here yet. She's got to come all the way here. They burned down the house. <laughs> Burning down the house. Da -da, da -da. Burning down the house. That's my Sims. That's what they do. <laughs> all right, Tor Torman, what are your wants? Oh, he still wants to buy a cell phone. Okay, why don't we do this? Let's save the lot. And let's go to the neighborhood. Let's place down, let's place down a community 
lot. We don't, I don't think we have any in this neighborhood that I've put up, but let's try to put up like one per, one new one per generation. So since he wants to buy a cell phone and I know that's a, a want that they roll a lot, let's um, find a community lot where that would make sense. So we got Doc Allen's Hangout, Pleasant View Career Services. Some of these are like custom lots, um, specialty lots. I don't want apartments. I want, is there, can I filter this just by community lots? I think these are just houses. Grand estate, interactive, friendly, um, stylish setup. I'm pretty sure these are just houses. Oh no, here's a clothing store. Rec center, sporty shack. There, three time rec center. Let's scroll back. Three in one bookstore. Oh, a micro mall. Blue water micro mall. Cafe Petite. Three in one bookstore. These are supposed to be in Blue Water, though. Maybe I'll just have them go to Blue Water. Because I really want to place down one of these guys, Doc Allen's, um, or the church or the career services. Actually, here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to place down Doc Allen's because I know I really want that. And it can go there. And we'll actually have him go to Blue Water to do his shopping. There's got to be something there where we can have a, uh, where they sell cell phones. All right, let's have him call a taxi. The problem is I don't remember what lots for sure have like one of those kiosks where you can buy the cell phones. Let's see, Sims to which lots to buy cell phones. No, he doesn't need anyone to go with him. He's just going by himself. That's fine. I might have to place one. Aside from the community lots, the Sims 2 nightlife is also installed. Da, da, da. Oh, okay, it's in Fresh Rush Grocery or Cold Issue Clothing in downtown. So there we go. That's a dire wolf looking dog. Yeah! It looks like a it looks like a wolf. It's not leader of the pack though, because it doesn't have the glowing eyes. Alright, so let's see. Downtown. So according to the Googles, there is something we can buy a cell phone for him in cold issue clothing. So let's go there. Only two days left before Lily's birthday. Oh, fabulous. Lily's birthday coming. She's gonna grow up and be a teenager just like her brother. Tormund, why are you taking a bath? It's time for you to go buy a cell phone. That's what you want. We'll lock that to make sure it doesn't go away when we land on the lot. It shouldn't, though. Yeah, that dog was a good-looking dog. Nice big dog. I know a lot of people don't like playing with the pets in Sims 2, but I actually kind of like it. Um, I don't hate playing with the pets, you know? I enjoy them. I just feel like the family doesn't have enough money right now for that to be feasible. <gasps> They'll end up losing the animal and I don't want that. Because <gasps> if they can't feed it and spend time with it and things like that, they'll actually come in and take the animal away. And I just want to focus right now on getting their house kind of in order before we get pets going. Because I like to give the, when we do get animals, I like to give them their own room. I like to have like an animal room, you know, for like the cat's litter boxes and, and things like that. Okay. Haha, ha, here's one of the kiosks. So there we go. Oh, he wants to go on a date. Private school, go to college. So he's still doing that. Oh, kitty give me star emojis makes my heart sing. Star emojis? Okay, buy a cell phone. You're going to spend the, the rest of the family's money, but it's what you want, Tormund. And you're the heir, so you get what you want. Alright, sweet. Wow! Thank you, Jane. <laughs> okay, that's it. You can go back home now. We don't need to be here anymore. He wants to earn some money. Okay. 
He wants to get into private school and he wants to go to college. Well, we'll go ahead and lock the go to college now. Oh, in the cafe. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah, we have more emoji slots in the cafe. So we definitely need to use those. Okay, so he can go home. And now I have a mod set up to when we get back to the house, it's actually gonna, we're gonna play the time that he's been gone with everybody else and then he'll show up at the house when the clock rolls around to 19, whatever time it is that the taxi actually shows up. I live for praise, Landon has helped me accept that part of myself. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I mean, y'all know Landon only survives week to week from the applause that you guys give her on these streams. Otherwise she would perish. So, you know, I'll have to tell her that uh, don't worry, you got lots of applauses, your sim got lots of applauses, and I'm sure that counts. So then, you know, she can live another week because of you guys. All right, let's go back. Yeah, a few for Landon. Yes, for sure. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jane. Okay. See, like, he's due home. That's a, that's a mod that I have. That's a mod that I have that does that. So it's a little bit more realistic, I think, than uh, what happens otherwise, where they just show back home and they get to, like, live the same time over again, which doesn't make sense to me. All right, why don't you make some spaghetti, Landon? Everybody's getting hungry. It's time to make spaghetti, Mom. Okay. Yes, I know, I know. Um, what happened? Have dinner? Oh, are they out of food? <gasps> okay. We'll have to buy more food. We'll have to buy more food when Landon gets paid tomorrow. I guess she can eat a snack for now. Um, oh, your hygiene is really low, Lily. Why don't you take a shower? And then she can always bake to, for, for sustenance. Her easy bake oven things. And that'll work. Don't you hate it when you're low on groceries and you have to eat potato chips for dinner? Poor Landon. That's where she is right now. Being a teacher is hard. Trying to expand your house while being a teacher is hard. Alright, why don't you use the toilet torment? All right, you can use this toilet. How are you doing now? Oh, she needs to potty too. But they're all busy. I guess her friend never made it or I didn't greet the friend or something. I don't really know what happened, but I messed that up somewhere. Um, put away all the books. Why don't you put away all the books? Landon, why are you distracted? You need to use the potty. All right, and take a bath. It's fine there, chill fam. They go with the flow. <laughs> they do. They do good at going with the flow. Uh, okay. Well, that's something. Uh, Chrissy's not shooing Landon out of the bathroom. <sighs> okay, why don't we do this? Say goodbye to everyone. Everybody, get out of my house. It's time to go. It's time. It's time to be done. Uh, say goodbye to everyone. Get out. It's late. Oh, look at that. Hotness. In the bathroom. Making out, as you do. Alright, I guess she wants to take a bath. What are you doing? Oh yeah, because you're hungry. That's fine. That'll increase her fun as well. What happened? Oh, we fell back down to green. That's fine. People watching me pee is when I kick them out too. <laughs> yep, it'd be like that. But it's okay, they had a kiss goodbye. Everything's fine. No trouble in paradise. Good lord, Tormund's really hungry. Um, can he maybe have a snack? And do they have enough food for him to grab a snack? Yes, they still have enough for him to have a snack. Okay, so he won't have to go to bed super hungry. 
I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to let your food run all out. That's just kind of what happened. Is this Lily's homework or Torment's homework? Yeah, Lily doesn't seem to care about doing her homework. She she got an A. She's over it. Oh, Malcolm, come to visit, guys. Malcolm says hi. He says what's up. He's gonna raid the fridge because he died of hunger. Yeah, we uh, we don't have any food, Malcolm. Um, you're not here. You're not here to provide for us. Okay, he can go to bed, Lily, that's fine. And I guess you can sleep in underwear since you guys have different beds now, different bedrooms. They don't even notice, they're not even noticing Malcolm, Malcolm's ghost. They're just like, whatever, I'm busy playing computer games. What did he possess? I can't tell what he possessed. But I saw him dive here. Yeah, my career's going great without you, Malcolm. See, I'm getting congratulated on it still. Yeah! Thanks, son. I'm working hard. Trying my best. Let's go to sleep. It's late. Everybody go to bed. Why are you awake? Oh! Oh no! Uh-oh. Uh Why don't you take a bath now, honey? Oh, she chose shower. Oh, take a bubble bath. That's fine. And then she can go back to bed. She pissed herself. <laughs> Lily, no! Poor baby. She saw the image of her dead dad, and she peed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds like you had nice kids who respected your bathroom time. I don't think kids know how to do that. <sighs> Poor thing. Alright, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. You're all clean now. <sighs> yeah, oh my god, it's right. <sighs> oh, poor thing. I feel like, though, since she saw a ghost in childhood, maybe we should make her a knowledge sim. Because they actually like seeing ghosts. So maybe it was kind of like this this traumatic event that she's uh, very curious about now. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, he's about to see the ghost, too. That's not going to be good for him. He's a fortune sim. He doesn't. He's not interested in seeing ghosts. Why is she awake again? Oh, because it's time to see the ghost again. Did she? But she didn't pee this time. Okay, well, that's good. She's improving. It's getting better. Now she can clean that up and then she can go back to sleep. We might need to, at some point, move the ghost off the lot. I don't want to, because it's fun, but if they get too, too grouty and crazy, <laughs> we might have to figure out a way to kind of contain them, you know? Like, actually make a, a graveyard for the, the tombs to go. Like that's usually what why I have like the uh, what I do with the church, what I like to do with that with the church, which is why I have the the church the downloaded church now, so I don't have to go build one. I'll make a graveyard there for all the dead dead legacy Sims. Okay, well, poor thing got woken up, and it looks like he's not tired enough to go back to sleep, so that's a shame. We can't forget to buy food tomorrow, guys. Malcolm's still out here terrorizing. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, one ghost is funny, but a house full of ghosts will kill the game. Exactly. And I know, like, technically in Legacy Challenges, if the more ghosts that you that you keep, like, you get points for keeping the ghosts on the lot. But um, it just, it can make the game unplayable after a while. They just, they just wreak too much havoc. You know, and they just destroy stuff. Can I move his tombstone? Oh, not until he's not until the morning when he's back in it. All right. Well, torment. I guess since you're up, you might as well make breakfast. More toaster pastries for everybody. Oh, that's right. We don't have food. Oh wait, he can go back to sleep now. So let's go back to sleep. Let's go back to sleep.
All right, everybody. I'm sorry you're going to wake up hungry. But we have to wait till the end of the day when Landy gets paid to get more food. So that's just going to have to be how it is. We're going to lock in that BFF want. She has a lot of wants for Lily. Um, Let's see. Can you have a snack? Let's, why don't you have some juice this morning? Oh, we don't even have enough for her to have a snack. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, oops. Oh, well. I guess she'll just play computer games before work. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I got too focused on the house. house I forgot that you guys had to eat. <laughs> I forgot that my sims had to eat, you guys. <laughs> All right. Let's fast forward a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. I gotta wait, though. Oh, I love her new work outfit. That's really cute. Look at that. I gotta buy food when she gets home. Oh, it's about to be time to get up, Tormund. Like, that's sweet, but... Y'all are about to go to school. Her poor, her poor fun score from seeing that ghost. <gasps> Her poor fun score. I know, you're hungry. Good thing you guys have school lunch, so you won't be starving when you come home. Alright, time to get up and go, Lily. Bye. Have a good day at school. No, she took my high chair! Wow, that was rude of you, lady. Get out. No more. You know Landon's a school teacher and it's hard. Okay, we're doing our best. Did he not go to school? Drive to school. Yeah, I guess he didn't. Well, whatever. He'll take the car today. Who's that? Gabe Lum? Okay, let's fast forward while they're at school and stuff. And we'll buy food when Landon comes home. all these unmade beds <laughs> oh Tormund's home okay so what do you want to do he wants to earn some money all right why don't you do this find a job if he wants to earn some money he's gonna have to find a job maybe he's inspired because his he realizes that they're struggling and they need a little bit more money okay so we've got the gamer career track let's see what our choices are so we've got gamer career track we've got Intelligence career track. Dance career track. Should be two more choices. Slacker. <laughs> That's funny. And politics. Okay. Well, let's check. Let's see if we can find him something that makes sense. So he's very outgoing and active. And he's fitness is his hobby, so he definitely needs something that is like um that is active. He's very interested in fashion, sports, and school. Okay. Let's see what job. What job matches that? Not gamer or slacker. I think we need to get him one of the other ones. Maybe intelligence would make sense. No, I don't want gamer. I think let's go with intelligence, looking at like his hobbies and things and what he's like, what he likes. I think intelligence makes the most sense. Let's take this job. Okay. Now you can do whatever you want. We'll we'll try to earn some money. Oh, he wants a handheld game. You know what, Torment? 
We already got you the cell phone. He still was rolling the college once, so we're gonna have him do his homework. Oh, and of course the computer breaks. That's lovely. You broke the computer, Tormund. We'll have to repair it. And as we all know, the way you can repair computers in real life and in The Sims is by stabbing them with a screwdriver. Also, in the real game, it takes them forever to do their homework. I have a mod that makes it go really fast. So that's why they're, uh, that happens. Oh, oh, she wants to do her homework. Okay. Well, she can do that. All right. So why don't you repair the computer? Oh, and she brought another friend home. Oh, and Landon brought a friend home. Oh my gosh. Everybody bringing friends home. Oh, she wants to jump rope. Why don't you go here and do that? That'll get your fun up. Because she probably won't do her homework with her fun that low. Alright. Let's call delivery. Because we need to buy food. Oh, that's good. Okay. Why don't you jump rope? That's what you want to do. Okay, can we fill up? We can get to right here. That will be all of our money. So we're going to spend that much. Okay. Well, we can't do anything on the house today. Because <laughs> we have to buy food, you guys. It looks like we'll probably have to buy more food tomorrow. <sighs> Alright. Oh, she wants to talk to Cory. Why don't we do that? <gasps> oh no! Tormund's getting electrocuted! Don't die, Torment. Don't go like your father. Oh, thank God. He just, he didn't die. He didn't die. He just, this is really bad. Off. Okay. I'm so sorry. You have to finish repairing that. Look at his clothes, y'all. Look at his clothes. Oh my gosh. All right, Landon, get the delivery. All right. Well, this has been total chaos, everybody. This has been total chaos. Without, uh, without Malcolm, without Malcolm, what do they do? Uh, they don't know what to do. And uh, Landon can't even figure out how to accept this delivery. Oh, Samantha. That's her friend. Okay, come on, Landon, go get the delivery. It's the last thing I want to do, and then we'll save the game. Where are you going, Tormund? Oh, he's trying to receive the delivery. Oh, gosh. This poor family. This poor family just can't handle. Just can't handle it. Poor Torment has to do everything. He has to fix the computer. He's trying to accept the delivery. He's, like, all crazy. <laughs> okay. We have food again, you guys. Oh, I got so excited. I accidentally scrolled. Okay. The family has food again. They can live another day. <laughs> All right, let's save. Let's save. Yes, I know torment. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave them in this in this chaos, and uh, let's save. Let's save. All right, guys. I'm not sure when we'll come back to Sims 2. At some point we will, because I still have this legacy going, and it's still part of Interstage Windows. But anytime we need like a filler episode like this, we'll, we'll play some more Sims 2 and catch up on what's going on with the, the chaos of the SU family. <laughs> um, so, uh, so poor Landon. Poor Landon. Um, being a single mom's hard, y'all. Being a single mom's hard, and she's a teacher. She doesn't have a lot of money. You know, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. She's got a good relationship with that, that girl, Christy. Maybe something will happen there. Um, Tormund is trying his best. <laughs> Lily's just, Lily's just living her life. <laughs> All right, guys. So as y'all know, we love to end the stream with, um, we love to end the stream with some good news. So I have got some good news that I think, that I think fits the whole land of being a teacher thing. So let's switch over to Chrome. Okay, here we go. So it's a myth that adults can't learn languages as easily as kids. Benefits multiply as families learn together. So here's the article if anybody wants to read it those nails. Oh yeah. I've got um black and then orange and yellow unicorn skin on top for uh for Halloween. I'm going to do black with some kind of thing on top uh every week 
in October, so they stay like Halloweeny. Yeah, I'm not gonna play any videos. For y'all that don't know, my last uh, my last episode of Interstage Window, I can't monetize it because we full screened that uh, that uh, seahorse video, and some Chinese company said, "No, no, you're not allowed to monetize." So anyway, I thought this uh, this article is really good. Apparently, according to this study, it is a misconception that uh, adults cannot learn new languages as fast as kids. The reason why um, kids tend to learn new languages more quickly is because of the methods by which they're learning. And also because kids are like, they're immersed, right? And they're trying to communicate with others, whereas adults are trying to learn in like an academic way. And also adults, unlike kids, are much more susceptible to the fear of making mistakes, whereas kids really don't care if they say things that are complete nonsense and and uh, and, and doesn't make any sense. But um, But adults do care if they say things wrong. So that's really what's happening here. And then if you if you create a bilingual household, that is the best way to really learn a new language as an adult and as a kid for everybody to be speaking multiple languages inside the home, you know, where you have to communicate. So I thought this was really interesting. Like, here's the line that I was talking about a moment ago. Adults, on the other hand, tend to learn languages in more traditional academic ways, as well as being much more susceptible to fear of making mistakes. So that's really the difference. So if you're trying to learn a new language, don't be scared to make mistakes. Just try and immerse yourself and talk with other native speakers that are using that language. Um, I know you can find people streaming in other languages here on Twitch, so maybe trying to to chat with them. That would be best. And then the other thing that uh, that this article recommends is constantly trying to switch between the different modes that you're you're using, like uh, reading, writing, and and speaking and listening. Like always constantly doing all of those. Don't just focus on one. Try to do all four of those regularly and switching between them all the time. So I, I thought that was really nice, and uh, and that's good. That's good news. I'm glad that there was a study that that showed that because I love learning new languages, and uh, and it's always sad. I feel like when I think like, oh, if I had just started this earlier in life, then I could be so much farther and be so much better at it. But that's not really true. You can do it as an adult. All right, guys. So last but not least in the stream, let's find somebody to raid. Let's see who's live right now. Who is live? Who can we raid? Let's see. Do y'all want some more Sims or do you want to see New World? I've got two choices. Oh, thank you so much for the bits, Katie. Thank you, thank you. I love you so much. Starting off that October great with some bits from both Kitty and Lunar. Thank you, guys. All right, so we can watch some New World. Um, if you guys are interested in learning about that MMO, it looks like Mr. Bosilisk is streaming that. Uh, also, my favorite Sim streamer, Pleasant Sims, is live playing Sims 3. So if y'all want more Sims, we could go raid her. So do y'all want to um, look at my friend with New World or do y'all want more Sims? Are you fiending for Sims or, or is, is New World good? Oh, thank you so much for the applause, Luna. Thank you so much. By the way, this is where all of my, this is where I meet all of my streaming friends in Elixir. So if you're interested, okay, New World. Okay, fabulous. We can do that, Jane. So we're going to raid Mr. Basilisk. I'm also curious about New World, so we're going to check this out. All right, guys. Um, so next week we are going to be streaming with Kendra. So we have a special guest on our next episode of Interstage Window, and we're going to be talking about all about talking all about um, historical fiction and fantasy from a role play perspective, since that is Kendra's favorite genre. So it's another genre episode, and we're going to be doing that. And then on Thursday we're going to be doing some more Final Fantasy X. We're going to be focusing on Blitzball, so we're going to be playing lots and lots of Blitzball. Uh, on Thursday, trying to get the unlocks for Waka's ultimate weapon. All right, that's it. That's all, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, as always, of course, don't forget to make it a great day. And, uh, and tell Mr. Boskalis I said hi. Okay, here we go. Bye, guys. <laughs>